This is code.org. Let's see what we're doing. Moving down. Oh, a feather. Here is the feather sprite that should be floating down the screen. If the velocity x makes the sprite move to the right, you can find the block that will make the feather move down. Can you find a block that will make the feather move down? Do this. Find the block that will make the feather sprite go down the screen and use it outside of the draw loop. And so, yep, right here. It is kind of strange to say that. The reason we don't need to put it in the draw loop, right? So if it was here, let's do it together. Uh, velocity y, right? So we're going up and down. So that would be the y velocity. Keep in mind, 0y is way up here and 400y is at the bottom. It's kind of flipped in a way. So 0 would be up here. 400 is here. So if you want something to go down, you have to add to it. So like 4 would actually add to it. Okay, if I need it to go up, I would need a negative number here, but it wants us to have it go down. Now, I don't have a sprite. I have a feather is my variable, right? And so keep in mind what this is, a little here, but uh right? What it's doing, though, is it is the same as putting feather.x or feather.y equals feather.y in the draw loop, except we're setting it outside. So we're just letting the computer know up here it's a property, and we're just letting it know, hey, Make sure to add 4 to y each time you run. It's just letting it know we set it up here, and it's identical to doing feather.y equals feather.y plus 4, which would be to say every time the draw loop runs, 30 times a second, push the feather down 4 and redraw the feather. We're just saying that out of it because it's something we're not changing. We're just saying, yep, this is its standard velocity, so go ahead and do that. We're not going to put it down here. Cool. We have a fancy falling feather. Onward.